In this video, you'll learn how to add external RSS feed content in your post and emails with Beehive. RSS, or really simple syndication, is a web feed format designed to simplify shared frequently updated content, such as blog posts. With Beehive, you can essentially populate content from an external brand or company website using external RSS feeds and insert it into your newsletters or posts with one click. Let's get straight into it. To get started, log into your Beehive account and click on settings in the bottom left of your screen. From here, click on RSS under your desired publication. Now click on new external RSS feed, and enter the name of the RSS feed and its URL. In this example, we'll use an RSS feed from the New York Times. From here, you can now set your feed defaults. These will be the default settings that'll be applied to your RSS component when you insert it into a post. To the right of your page, you'll see the preview of how content from the external RSS feed will be shown in a post based on your default settings. Once you're done, click on Create RSS Feed. Now to insert RSS feed content in your post, go to Post and create a new post or choose from an existing one. Now, once you're in the editor, type in forward slash followed by RSS and click on the component from the menu. Now you'll see the external RSS feed you entered and you'll also have the option to add an external RSS feed directly from here as well. Now choose an RSS feed and once you do, you'll see content populate in the format of your feed defaults. Now click on the component and you'll see further options to customize its appearance. Click on the settings icon and here you'll see an array of options including different article layouts and the option to show or hide specific post components. You'll also have the option to change the number of posts you wanna show and the option to change the order the content appears in by clicking on reorganize content. From here, you can click and drag to reorder the post and you can click on the pencil icon to change the text that occupies the post. Additionally, you can search and choose from posts that are currently being shown in the component. Lastly, you can click on the refresh icon to refresh content in case a new post has been published since you inserted the component. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, you might like the other tutorials on our YouTube channel.